Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back. That's right, we are back and we're going to be continuing the 2007 WWE pay-per-view DVD retrospective year. Yes. Uh, right now we are doing WWE Backlash 2007. Yes. This is the DVD review for you guys, April 29th, 2007. Uh, it is a Raw, SmackDown, and ECW brand pay-per-view. It's a tri-brand pay-per-view. Pretty much, uh, th th that's all you're really going to yeah. see anymore from 2007. Yeah, that's pretty um, much all you're going to see. The theme song is There and Back Again by Daltrey and Britt uh, Smith. Yeah. Well, that's not on the goddamn DVD here. No. I'll, I'll can, I, can I give a little yeah. semblance of yes. the great... Uh, Great theme song for Backlash 2007 on the yes. DVD portion. Uh, the, the, the DVD menu is what song, Tyler? One, two, three, hit me. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound like someone having sex in the fucking song when I was hearing it. I'll vote for that. I mean, <laughs> Not only that, but this is the, uh, uh, isn't that the theme that they use for the, uh... Yeah, fucking ECW yeah. theme when, when fucking on WWE Dingy 24-7. Yes, uh, so, uh, pretty much that, that's what that is. Uh, but, uh, we're at the Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> in Atlanta, Georgia. The Dark Match. For Backlash 2007 is Carlito taking on Johnny Nitro. Yes. Oh, uh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, boy, Carlito. He's in dark again. <laughs> he was in dark at WrestleMania. He's in dark here. Yes. Uh, we'll just say Carlito gets the win over Johnny Nitro. Let's move on. Yes, he does. Uh, first match on the card is for the World Tag Team Championships on the line when Matt and Jeff the Hardys put their titles on the line against... Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch. Now the Hardys won the titles from uh, from uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, John Cena from that tag team battle royal night after WrestleMania. Yeah, and uh, and pretty much how Cade and Murdoch gets a title shot is they face both the Hardys in singles matches and beat them and beat them. And no doubt about it, they're going to get a title shot here. Yeah. at Backlash. And this was a really good opening t match for Backlash 2007. I really enjoyed. This match for the World Tag Team Titles, the Hardys versus Lance Kane and Trevor Murdoch. I did too. I, I, I thought I, it was a good, good fucking opening match. I, th I thought it was a really good match. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a fast-paced uh, match. Uh, and I'm always like Lance Kane and Trevor Murdoch as a tag team. So. Yeah. Uh, so, so, the Hardys. Eh. So, so, some people didn't like Kane and Murdoch. I did. Me, I enjoyed Lance Kane and Trevor Murdoch. I, I enjoyed them as a tag team. Uh, but pretty much what happens is uh, Matt Hardy does a twist of fate on uh, Trevor Murdoch. Yeah, and then uh, Jeff Hardy does the swanton. And, but Lance K pulls out Matt. Matt does a few punches. And fucking just rolls in and pin Trevor Murdoch. And all he did to Lance K was a few punches. And Lance K couldn't get in the ring. <laughs> yeah, Lance K couldn't get in the ring. He, 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 he just wanted this. He, he chucked the punches right in. And, and then goes, Matt fucking slides back in. <laughs> pins Trevor Murdoch. He couldn't fucking get in there after a few punches. No doubt about it. And pretty much the Hardys win the match. Yeah, the Hardys <laughs> retain the uh, World Tag Team titles. We know Nick Kurtz and Charles Reed Fowler loves it. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. They're going to love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the Hardys retain their World Tag Team Championships. Next match on the card is for the WWE Women's Championship when the champion Molina is going to be taking on... Mickey James. Now, um... Oh, oh, Mickey James couldn't be on the card for WrestleMania 23. She had to be a fucking paint pilling lumberjill. But she could come to Backlash, though. Yeah. Well, see, well, see, a Ashley was doing the Playboy thing. Who cares? Right. She no, could have well, been a lumberjill. Well, 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 no, no, she had to be the star. Well, she ain't one. <laughs> I know. She, Ashley ain't one. And neither is Melina, either. No. Uh, I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> well, I already knew that. Uh -huh. But I will say, this match was... Uh, longer. This match was and, longer than the fucking WrestleMania 23 <laughs> match here. And a little uh, bit better. And it was better. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just not a Molina fan. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, I've just never been a Molina fan. She's hot, but... She's hot, but she sucks in the ring. Yeah, she sucks in the ring, so... Uh, I just was never a fan of Molina. I'm a big fan of Mickey James. Oh, yeah. Not this year, though. <laughs> but uh, I'm a big fan of Mickey James now. And, 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 and this was the discussion me and you were having while we were watching. We were sitting there like, you know, Mickey James, you know, former war, you know, former women's champion and... And Diva Champion. Yeah, and all she that comes stuff. And, comes back now, and she's a fucking jobber. You know, t t 2018, Mickey's a jobber. Yeah, which so, is sad. But nonetheless, uh, pretty much, uh, fucking Melina ends up getting uh, getting. Uh, 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 now, now, now this is the thing, though. Mickey pretty much had had the match. Yeah, going. Mickey James controlled this whole match until the end. Until the end, fucking Melina does a reverse DDT on Mickey James. One, two, three, and Melina. Retains the women's championship over Mickey James. Now, not only that, but tell me, uh, you know, the the entire times that Mickey was getting the better part of Melina, you heard, you heard cheers. Yeah. Now, when when Melina, Melina came out, you didn't hear no cheers, no boos, <laughs> nothing. You could hear crickets. You could hear crickets. She's not a good heel. If a, it. If she was getting the better part, they'd be booing her. They weren't even booing her when she done any offense in. They, <laughs> no, were, they were doing nothing. Nobody cared. But Mickey, Mickey James, every time she does something, she got cheers. True that. And then we see the hype video for the Stone Cold Steve Austin movie, his first movie. Yes. The Condemned. And it was a great movie. Great movie. Uh, which you got it in your room, and I got it right over here. You're damn right. That's one movie I did buy from <laughs> WWE Films. Uh, so uh, Pretty rare I buy a movie from WWE Films. And Tommy, uh, wasn't there a cameo appearance of a former WWE superstar yes, in there? Yes, there was. Who was that? Paint Peeling Nathan Jones. That's right. If you guys don't remember, Nathan Jones was in that movie as well. Yeah, he was the big fucker. The yeah. ball-headed fucker. <laughs> yeah, the big, the big ball-headed fucker that took on Austin. Yeah. Uh... So, uh, a little tidbit of information there for you guys. Um, the, uh, the next uh, match right here is a WrestleMania rematch. Yes, WrestleMania rematch. With, uh, it's for the WWE United States Championship. When the champion, Chris Benoit. Hey, oh, oh, Chris Benoit, you know, he comes out. From Atlanta, Georgia! And the crowd goes up. Oh, it's ape shit. <laughs> yeah, the crowd fucking erupts. Yeah. But uh, pretty much it, 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 it was epic, but, uh, you know, it, it, MVP just had his entrance. And yeah. He, you know, he goes, he goes yeah, in. Yeah, MVP does his entrance. You know this. <laughs> the fucking uh, MVP curtain. There, <laughs> and the bubbles. The, the fucking bubbly goddamn inflatable thing that has MVP on the curtain. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that. Um... Honestly, I really enjoyed this yeah, match. Yeah, this this was a good match. They put on another good match here, MVP and Chris Benoit. Uh, you know, I, I really I, enjoyed it. I, I put this match pretty much on the same bar as their WrestleMania 23 yeah. match, no doubt. I, I thought it was a really good match. Uh, but Benoit ends up trying to go oh, for the crossface. Yes. Goes for the crossface. MVP rolls out of it. Takes uh, down Benoit. Takes down Benoit. Benoit wins with a small package. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing uh, I saw was... He won with a small package. Yes. Uh, a small package by Chris Benoit. One, two, three. And Chris Benoit retains the United States title. And MVP looking in shock. Then he just rolls out the ring after that. <laughs> yeah, he just goes. And he just rolls out <laughs> the ring. Uh, next match on the card. I'll tell you. You've been looking for Oh, yeah. You've been looking for word for this one. A three-on-one handicap match. Yes! For the ECW World Heavyweight Championship with the champion... Booby Lindsay, Bobby Lashley, is going to be taking on Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, and the Samoa Bulldozer, Umaga. Yes. This is the match I've been looking forward to. Uh, I know, this I know match that. sucks. <laughs> this match sucks. And the only enjoyment I got in this whole fucking match was the ending. Now, Tommy. Besides, did, besides Vince's interest with the do rag, on, <laughs> with the do rag, <laughs> with the do rag on, do rag Vince, baby. I enjoyed the do rag Vince entrance. I enjoyed that him coming down in that fucking black sweater, <laughs> the fucking black sweatshirt, and then black jeans. <laughs> he always wears. He always wears, wears, and then that fucking do rag, <laughs> the black do rag that goes along with it. I loved it. Uh, pretty much Shane and Umaga, pretty much. Yeah, Shane and Umaga do all the work here. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, 
Shane ends up hitting Lashley with the ECW Championship. Yep. Vince goes. Umaga goes <laughs> well, up. Well, 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 first Vince is like, tag me, tag me. Yeah, he goes for the cover. Of course, of course, Bobby Trashley kicks out. Kicks out too. And by the way, Lashley sucks even here. So, so he tags in Umaga. He tags Umaga. Umaga does a fucking splash. And then fucking Vince. Tag me. He tags. One, two, three. Well, no, 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 no. He goes for it. Misses again with a one two. Oh yeah. And then, and then, and then fucking, and then fucking yeah. Vince fucking tags Umaga again. Same damn thing. It don't fucking matter. <laughs> two splashes. Yeah, it's fucking two splashes. Okay. And then he gets in there. Tag. Yeah. Well, then one <laughs> two three. Vince fucking pins Bobby Lashley. And fucking he runs around fucking like this. <laughs> yeah. And then fucking grabs the JBL hat. And does a little dance like this. And then fucking uh, and then fucking walks out with the ECW title, strutting or dancing. I don't know which one he's doing. <laughs> he just he, he just walking down. Yeah, there fucking, fucking sold. Then fucking Umaga and fucking Shane and Vince. And you see Vince with that fucking smile. <laughs> so your new ECW champion, Mr. McMahon. Yes, Vince Vinny Roo. Now in the Vinny back, Mac. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny Mac. Uh, with with those Shane O'Mac there. Yeah. Uh, now in the back, Vince Vince comes up to the ECW originals. Yeah. Uh, Rob Van Dam, and he goes, uh, you Ah, know. Vincent <laughs> Kennedy McMahon. And he goes, Thanks for looking up. <laughs> and he goes to Sam and Sam has got a fucking Budweiser in his hand. Fucking Vince just takes and drinks it. And then he fucking takes Tommy Dreamer's sick of poor Kane, and they just look and. And they go EC dub and then they leave after that. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much just disrespecting the ECW originals there. Yeah, the, uh, uh, and, and the only one that lasted was Tommy. <laughs> That's Out of all four of them. <laughs> Next match on the card is for it, it is a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship when the Undertaker, the champion, yep. is going to be taking on Charles Reese Fowler. Oh, Charles! Charles Reefell, your boy Batista, it's another. Getting, getting a rematch here. Yeah. He came out in his fucking Miami Vice suit. <laughs> yes. Here he comes out with fucking loafer, loafer socks and the fucking loafer shoes. Here he comes out in his fucking tank top with the fucking Miami Vice suit on. I want a rematch. <laughs> I want a rematch. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, you know, you, you should dress like him, Charles. You should wear the Miami Vice shit. <laughs> you should. Um... Honestly, I, re I really like the match. Yeah, this was this was a good last man standing match until, uh, the, until the end. Until the, until the fucking ending of the match, uh, which we're all going to get into. Batista ends up getting uh, get, getting busted open after uh, the still steps gets yes. rammed into his head. Uh, you know, and and, and then he sits uh, Batista on the SmackDown announcers table, and Undertaker does a leg drop through the SmackDown announce table. It's JBL. It's JBL. Michael Cole sitting with the fans. <laughs> yeah, they, they hop over the wall so they don't get yeah. hurt. Um, and uh, Batista, uh, they end up fighting on the uh, stage. And uh, Batista, well, Undertaker yeah, has Undertaker him up there. Yeah, Undertaker has him up on his shoulders, and Batista fucking counters out of it, and fucking spears fucking the Undertaker off the stage. And they go through. You see little fire, little sparklers. Yeah. You know, almost like you know those goddamn sparklers that you fucking use. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. And fucking here comes the goddamn fucking uh stage, fucking stage, and some of the goddamn fucking fucking towers, know, the towers like. or fucking metal. I don't know, fucking know. I didn't build the stage. <laughs> fucking falls over and and uh oh, 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 almost hit uh, Mickey Henson. Yeah, almost hit fucking Mickey Henson here. The referee. He counts to ten, and miraculously the Undertaker gets up after that. <laughs> yeah. And so does Batista. Miraculously, they get up after the count of ten. After, you know, uh, 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 Undertaker gets up like five, uh, like a five count after, so fifteen count, and then here comes Batista after like a twenty count. And then, uh, you know, Undertaker's music plays because it is a draw. Yeah, so because, the Undertaker retains the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, so because both uh, both men could not uh, get up to the count of ten, so it's a draw. And still, the World Heavyweight Champion is the Undertaker. And then we get to the main event. Right of uh, Backlash, uh, yeah, Backlash 2007. It's a fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship. We get the champion, John Cena, is going to be taking on his WrestleMania opponent from WrestleMania 23, Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Michaels, Randy Orton, and Edge. Now, they had beforehand, uh, like they did at WrestleMania 23, they had the 
AT and T uh, mobile voter. Yeah. Or, oh yeah. Or, fuck, or whatever. Fuck it. Was. The AT and T mobile vote. You know where where Charles voted eighteen times on <laughs> for eighteen percent of Batiste at WrestleMania twenty three. Uh, and, and and here's the voter turnout. John Cena fifty percent of the vote. Yep. Oh, that's a fucking shock. That's a fucking shock. Shawn Michaels gets a 34%. Randy Orton gets 10%, and Edge gets 6 And, and poor Edge, he gets Poor 6%. Edge gets fucking 6% here. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, I really like this match. Yeah, this was a good Fatal 4-Way match until, again, let me say it, the ending. Yeah, the ending. The, the, ending, was, the ending actually pissed me the off. En the ending fucking sucked. I hated the ending. Uh, fu fucking, uh... Edge ends up fucking spearing yeah. Randy Orton. Yeah, fucking Cena, Cena uh, was going for the uh, RK. Uh, Randy Orton was going for the RKO on uh, Cena. Cena moves. Fucking Edge accidentally spears fucking Randy Orton. And Randy Orton gets speared. And then Cena, John Cena does the FU to fucking Edge. And then Shawn Michaels does the super kick. And then Cena just falls on the front body of Randy Orton. One, two, three. And, uh, and, and Sean gingerly couldn't get there. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, what's wrong, Sean? What, that back hurt so bad you couldn't get there? <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, he fucking super kicked Cena, so he does the shitty fucking fall yeah, backwards. One, two, and fucking, and Sean didn't get there. <laughs> Sean, Sean fucking falls down, and then you hear the wood, two, and then finally, <laughs> by three, fucking, fucking, yeah. fucking, uh, Michaels was almost over there. I said, they're like, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so the ending sucked dick. Yes. And see, that ain't the first time, and it won't be the last time that uh, that Cena just falls on people and, yeah. and fucking wins, and, and that's the, and that's the reason why 2007 wasn't that best of the year in WWE. That's right. Uh, so uh, John Cena retains his WWE Championship in a shitty finish for Backlash 2007. And then Shawn Michaels, I had you, you know it. <laughs> yeah. This. Well, well, if you would have known it, Shawn, you would have got your fucking old crippled ass up a little better, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> a little faster than what you did there. Yeah, you got to look a little faster than your fucking red and white fucking spandex. <laughs> uh, and WWE logo, well, fade to black WWE logo. Yeah. And that's the end of Backlash 2007. We get some extras on here. We get Todd Grisham interviews Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, it says he ain't cashing in, and he'll cash in on his own time. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so so I I I I don't have to fucking answer to you, Todd. Get out. Yeah, that's that's all he said. RVD comments on Vince McMahon. Oh yeah, RVD <laughs> said it's a sad day to be ECW. You damn right it is. <laughs> especially in, especially in this era, I wouldn't want to be part of ECW. Uh, he talks about how he's... Oh, uh, there's tradition and, uh, yeah. and original. Uh, there ain't nothing original about this ECW. This ECW's trash. <laughs> fuck this ECW. Uh, and pretty much says that it's a dark day that Vince McMahon uh, fuck, uh, no, won it's the dark ECW day. championship. No, it's a dark day when they fucking, when they fucking put Bobby Lashley in the championship. <laughs> That's the dark day there, Rob. And then, if you guys do not know, this is the Blockbuster bonus disc included oh, yeah. version. Uh, so I get uh, on here, you get two bonus matches. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I didn't want to see this well, part bonus. Well, uh, we're going to do the second one first. Oh, okay. uh, it's a no disqualification match on ECW between Bobby Lashley and Umaga. Yeah, it's and a shitty then, match. Yeah, it's a shitty match. And uh, then we see one of Tommy's favorites right here. Oh, fuck. Fuck this. this. Vince McMahon comes out in his fucking fedora. Yeah, and they're in fucking <laughs> Milan, Italy. Yeah, they're in Milan, Italy. Italy, you guys know where we're going with this. And uh, he brings out Umaga, and he want and, 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 and you know they're. You chanting. can tell I don't give a fuck about this. They're chanting all this shit. And, and I Vince, can't understand a word they're fucking saying. And Vince, and Vince is like, "What do you guys want a Intercontinental Championship fucking match here?" And uh, you know he goes, uh, "No, nah, you ain't gonna win." You, in the brown shirt. Come here. Tommy, who was the guy in the brown shirt? <laughs> and I want you to say it just like he said it. Here he comes out of the fucking Milan fucking crowd here. With his red with shoes. With his fucking dingy fucking paint filling brown fucking polo shirt. <laughs> and them shitty fucking Wrangler jeans. <laughs> and, his, and, his, and his shitty fucking Doink the Clown red shoes. <laughs> Here he comes gingerly walking up the fucking steps. And fucking, here comes Vince. <laughs> hey! 
Well, here comes fucking Vince. What's your name? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Fool, what's your name, huh? What's your name with your fucking washboard abs? <laughs> what was his name, Tyler? Santino Barella! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Santino Barella! Fuck you! And your fucking shit. The only reason you got that job because you got bitch slapped by Jim Cornette. That's the only reason. They felt sorry for you fucking washboard abs ass. With your fucking shitty fucking hairy chest. And your fucking <laughs> shitty goddamn Mickey Mouse tattoos. And your fucking shitty goddamn fucking mohawk hair. <laughs> Everything about you, Santino. You fucking suck. You don't deserve to have that job. You didn't deserve to get fucking broke in. And see, Tommy, I, me and you actually remember watching this Raw. And I was pissed. Uh, right? And we, and we go, that ain't no fucking fan. That's fucking Boris Alexia. Yeah, OVW. I, that's <laughs> my fucking paint pilling fucking Alexia in fucking OVW. How the fuck do you get this job? Oh, because he got bitch slapped by Cornette. Pretty much. Uh, if you guys don't know, he was in developmental in OVW. Yeah, and they do shit. As Boris Alexia, and, and, and at that time he was a Russian. And he sucked at that. And now, and now, and now he's an Italian. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and this match sucked. Yes. Uh, fucking here comes Bobby Lashley in his fucking two hundred dollar suit. Here he comes. Fucking Spears. Fucking Umaga. And fucking grabs Santino with his fucking dingy goddamn Wrangler, goddamn fucking <laughs> blue jeans. jeans, and the fucking and the fucking clown shoes. <laughs> Puts him on top. Holds him. One, two, three. And fucking Santino Morello is the worst Intercontinental Champion of all time. <laughs> yes. I blame Bobby Lashley for this. I, I, I blame Bobby Lashley and Santino Morello and I blame Vince. <laughs> and thank God Backlash is over. So. Oh, fuck it. it wasn't, uh, this was an okay pay-per-view. Well, I mean, there was a lot of bullshit finishes. Oh, well, Especially, yeah, well, I mean, everybody knows the ECW is going to be the garbage. Oh, yeah. Well, but, yeah, there was a few <laughs> good matches. Uh, the tag team match was the, a good the one. The world tag team titles match, the Hardys versus Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch. Benoit uh, and MVP. Yeah, the United States title match, MVP and Chris Benoit was really good. Undertaker Batista was good except That's for it. the ending. Same and thing then, with the Fatal 4-Way. Good with, until the ending. So, uh, I, I mean, I give Backlash so-and-so. Yeah, I'll uh, give it a fucking thumbs in the middle. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleGrampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. If you guys want to send something for Mailbag Monday, you guys can always do that to the P.O. Box. Joseph Flat, F-L-A-T-T at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabeth, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.